Hi everyone, I'm Tom Waugh, co-founder of Ignite Digi. Welcome to our hometown of Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. We're out here on the beautiful Derwent River. You can see Kunanyi, Mount Wellington behind me. And here we have the Freefly Movi XL. The Movi XL has the same power limitations as the Movi Pro. So it has a six amp cam D-tap, two amp accessory D-tap, and then a one amp accessory D-tap up here on the spine. This is not enough power for your camera, fizz, rain spinner, Teradac, and whatever else you're running on the rig. So rather than run a V-lock or an Anton Bauer on the back of the camera, taking up valuable balance room and adding extra weight, we've come up with the expansion pack. The expansion pack builds on the same idea as the one for the Movi Pro. So it takes power from the batteries up the top, either the TB50s or the 6S LiPos, with a feed cable down through the slip ring on the roll motor, in through the roll bar, down the tube, down in here, we've actually got a Limo join hiding in this arm. It then passes through here, up into the expansion pack itself. All of the outputs on the expansion pack are hot swappable power. So you feel free to swap your TB50s or your 6S LiPos. As long as you've got one set of batteries on, the whole thing will stay powered. There's a variety of outputs on the expansion pack. Up the front here, we have a two pin 15 volt Limo. We also have a three pin Fisher socket which is great for feeding rain spinners with 20 to 25 volt unregulated power so you get full rotation on the spinner. I'll spin it up now so you can hear it at full tilt. So there you go. Spinning at about 3000 RPM. This is the Schultz spray off micro. So you can see on the back here, we have another two pin 15 volt output. We have an eight pin, which is the same as the Alexa Mini, 20 to 28 volt input. This is great for a block battery. If you want to save your TB50s or your 6S LiPos, this will keep the camera running. The three pin up the back here carries 15 volt, as well as 20 to 25 volt on different pins. It's the same as the Movi Pro expansion pack or the TB50 Hammerhead. So 20 to 25 volt for Alexa Mini, Mini LF, means you can run the camera, C-Force motors, C-Force Plus, C-Force Mini, whatever motors you're running off the L bus will power fine. We include this three pin Limo extension cable so that people can use the three pin to camera cables they've already got for their TB50 Hammerhead or expansion pack for Movi Pro. In this setup, I'm running the camera power from the three pin on the expansion pack. So that's feeding the Komodo with 15 volts. The MDRX with three motors and the TOF one up the front and the Teradek Bolt are both fed off the power breakout under the keystone here. And that's getting fed with the DTAP, the CAM DTAP, six amp output, which is enough to run the Fizz and the Teradek. If you're running a Preston MDR with an Alexa Mini or Mini LF, I would power the camera off the three pin output, which would give it 20 to 25 volts. Then you could power the Preston either from the 15 volt two pin or use the three pin Fisher 20 to 25 volts for the MDR if you weren't using a rain spinner. If you're running the TB50 setup on the XL, you can just plug the feed cable directly into the two pin on this side. For those running 6S LiPos, we've come up with this splitter cable. So you use one battery into here, that then passes through out to the XL and then you've got a two pin socket here that then you can plug this right angle two pin into. Even with the two 6S LiPos running through this system, you'll have hot swappable power on the expansion pack. The expansion pack mounts with a carbon plate with two M3 holes into these spots around the XL. We figure this is the best spot, but you might like mounting it up the top, down the bottom here, or even this there's one option to mount it down here as well in a slightly lower position, but we figured this was the best spot in terms of accessibility for plugging and unplugging cables. The expansion pack is available in black on our store.